you all are here because you can handle it. So any questions, concerns, anything at all giving you pause, you come see Dr. Walker or I. Little problems left unchecked become big problems. And we fix big problems here, not make them. Now let's get to work. Welcome everyone to the TMD. Captain, looks like we missed each other back at Mast. Listen, I just wanted to say, I could have never guessed where all this was going to lead. But what you've done for Percival, for me, for everyone, well, there, there aren't words to express how grateful I am. You know I can't do that. I've got an assignment. But I'll never say no to a visit when you're in the area. Remind us all how much we owe you. Well, I think it's safe to say you succeeded beyond anyone's wildest dreams. It's been an honor, Captain. Good luck out there. Interest you in a new assignment? No one else I'd rather have doing it. You heard right. These Terramorph attacks, they caught the UC off guard. UC Brass doesn't like that. So, they want us patrolling the front lines of xenological life, ensure we've got intel on any possible new alien threats. Which means, we need someone to track down said aliens, and harvest samples from them. And not just any sample from these animals is gonna do, either. We're trying to build a comprehensive picture here, which requires specific cells from specific family lines of some oftentimes unfriendly creatures. But since dealing with unfriendly creatures falls square in your wheelhouse, well, I figured we might be able to recruit you for the task. This isn't the same sort of harvesting you and Hadrian were doing with the Terramors. A little will go a long way here, if you can get close enough to these creatures to harvest from them directly, you should be able to collect what we need without killing them. I checked with Lieutenant Gwalter before heading out. A good EM weapon could serve you well on these missions. Though, if heavens forbid, there's no viable option other than putting the things down. We're only talking a select few specimens here. These populations will recover. Pretty much every beast, behemoth, Critter and Chimera humanity's run across is on the list. But we can send in-house researchers after the little guys. Your job will be primarily dealing with the, uh, more troublesome species. Glad to hear it. There is just one additional wrinkle. You see spec this as a one-person job, but I convinced them this sort of task merits expert backup. So, if you're interested, they've agreed to let you take Hadrian with you. You'll have to convince her, of course, but I don't think she'll fight you too badly. We could use Hadrian here, absolutely, but we have other scientists. Not a lot of other people can go up against Apex Predators and come home again and again. You and Hadrian are the right people for this job. I expect she wouldn't mind too badly being out there herself, so pay her a visit before you head out. Now, let's get you the details of your first quarry. Here you go. Head there, find your specimens, and bring those samples back here. I'll have a tech waiting outside to collect them from you. Hey, you need something? Okay, I'm listening. What's going on? I was hoping to lodge a complaint. Things are good. It's nice to see the place cleaned up again. Brings back a lot of old memories. Too bright. Been great so far. I'm happy to be working with Percival again. I think the TMD is set up to make a real difference in the settled systems. I'm honored to be a part of it. Back up? What does that have to do with me? Maybe. Why do you ask? Oh. 
Oh, I'm flattered, but I don't think so. I'm doing important work here. Percival needs my help. He would not okay me abandoning my post. No, it's not that. You just caught me by surprise. I figured I'd be at the TMD for the long haul. Expert backup, huh? Sounds like Percival's just trying to get me out of his hair. I don't know about this. Leaving the TMD is a big decision. Yeah, maybe. I have to admit, that trip to Londinian whetted my appetite for field work. I saw myself at the TMD for the long haul, but if Percival already okayed this, then I'm in. If you really need backup out there, I'll watch your six. You can count on me to pull my weight. I'll always help out in combat, and I'm happy to assist you with any research, too. Having an extra Xenosociologist around on this assignment sure couldn't hurt. We'll be dealing with plenty of hostile creatures. Yeah, I think so too. Thank you for the offer, really. It was unexpected, but I think this will be for the best, both for me and for the settled systems. I'll head out soon. I just need to talk to Percival before I go. He's gonna get an earful for arranging this without talking to me about it first. See you, Captain. If I knew I'd just be standing around, I might not have taken this job. Sure, Captain. We met when I was 19. The UC assigned him to be the co-head of my Xeno Warfare unit. Our first day working together, he said there was no way a kid could keep up with him in the lab. <laughs> I had him eating his words by the end of my first week. I was close with everyone in the Xeno Bio unit, but Percival and I have a special bond. Even if he is a huge pain in the ass. Mm, that's a tough call. I've seen most of the creatures in the settled systems, and there are plenty of strange ones. One of the most memorable was an insect-like predator I encountered on a remote planet in the Moloch system. It hunted by sucking the oxygen from the atmosphere around it to suffocate its prey. Isn't that fascinating? No, I encountered it long after the Xenowarfare Division was shuttered. I was just there to observe. Good thing, too. I don't think one of those things would have come quietly. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'd rather not see them again, either. A few lucky shots were all that saved my life the first time. I have a lot of stories that end with me almost becoming something's lunch. Sure. I have plenty of stories. This one won't make you squirm, I promise. One of my favorite aliens in the settled systems is native to the Archimedes system. It's a massive xylophagic creature with almost impenetrable armor. They look dangerous, but they're actually quite gentle. When I visited their homeworld, I followed a herd of them for days without any problems. Well, that's why you brought me along, right? You fly the ship, I'll handle the aliens. My favorite topic. Everyone loves a war story, don't they? Fine, but I'm not going too deep. A lot of things happened back then that I'm not proud of. No, I don't. The colony war ruined a lot of lives, including mine. But I do miss my soldiers. <laughs> it's 
been a lonely couple of decades. Really special. There's no better feeling than finding somewhere to belong. That's what the Red Devils were to me. A family to fight beside. You know, to become a Red Devil, you have to do hard labor in the mines of Mars. When you're down there, the only people you can trust are your fellow miners. That trust made it to the battlefield, too. We had each other's backs every step of the way. I wouldn't trade a single one of them for anything in the universe. The Battle of Nera. I wasn't there, but my soldiers were. We suffered heavy losses. The Red Devils were a family, and losing family is never easy. I still think about the soldiers who never came home. It's hard for me to think of anything that happened during the war as a victory. I'm not proud of all the harm my Xeno Warfare unit did. Our battles got me plenty of commendations, but I don't think they were worth it. I ruined a lot more lives than I saved. My pleasure, Captain. It was good to reminisce. I haven't talked about my service in a long time. The way things ended with the UC after the war, I just... Well, it wasn't something I could talk about with a lot of people. Well, the years after the war were pretty dark for me. The Red Devils were disbanded as part of the Armistice. They thought we were too dangerous to exist. I'd take blame for that. My unit wouldn't have been as lethal as it was without me at the helm. The Red Devils were my purpose. I felt lost without them. I spent a lot of time wandering the galaxy by myself, searching for something new to live for. I mostly visited remote places with interesting creatures. I didn't want to be around a lot of people after the war ended. Almost 20 years, but it felt longer. Walk in the park, right? Now I built my whole life around my service to the UC. It was my purpose. It almost felt like my life ended when the war did. I was hoping to find a new purpose out there in the galaxy, but nothing really stuck until I got the message about the terror morphs on Tau Ceti. Old habits die hard, you know? Let's hear it. It was nice talking with you. I used to be an actuary. Now look at me.